everybody. We're going to need some audience participation. We promise this will be lots of fun. Shamwell! <laughs> no Shamwell today, Chad. There's not enough whiskey to go around. Yeah, true. <laughs> However, we are going to be playing a little game called <laughs> Poet. Margaret, darling, can you yes. please describe the game oh. for us? Um, so we're going to need three volunteers from the audience, and each audience participant will come up on stage and take a seat on this bench together, and each individual will come up with a character or a persona of their choosing, and then we will get suggestions from the audience of topics, and then each of those people from their persona will um, compose a poem or a rant or what have you on that topic. They mostly end up rants. They mostly end up rants. Okay, so we need audience volunteers. Kevin B. Volunteer one. Yes, I see a, a gentleman in the back with his hand raised there. Yes, you're looking around like you didn't raise your hand. Ed, here, please. As our oh, wait, wait, no. We need, we need, we need, we need a female. We need a female. She, she raised her hand. She raised her hand. Okay. of a character that you are going to compose your poems in the persona of. I'm going to give you a few moments to think, and while you guys are thinking about that, I need all of you to be thinking about possible topics for the poems. Oh, a character in which you will compose your poem. Or just a persona. Obviously, somebody should be the devil, as that is a suggestion from Damien. You want to be safe? Um, my poem is entitled Lusk 
Kittitos. A poor translation would be like young female kittens. <laughs> this is for Dr. Fornoff if he's still in the house. If not, may God be with him. <clears throat> Dos Kittitos. There were two kittens. And it was pretty dark. Nice night. The stars rattled a little bit. A little bit of moon lighting up a few clouds. And these two little kittens. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, totally. It makes you like want to go to New Hampshire and meet a redhead named Autumn, you know? Just like late summer. My favorite season. I love it. I love it. So anyways, these two little los quitos, los quitos, donde esta, donde esta. Right? And like the ones like, just keep no, walking, Jack, just keep here. walking, just keep walking, just keep on walking. And so that's the end of my little poem, I'm the devil in disguise, thank you. for your cuteness, whereas I, the invisible man, am nothingness. I am a vacuum, and therefore nature abhors me. Whereas you, upon sight, upon vision, to the crowds and the masses, are universally recognized as something that is cute, that is adorable, that is to be obtained, whereas I, myself, give nothing. I am indescribable. I am only that which I put upon myself, whereas you yourself are yourself, and that self is love. <laughs> because you do not recognize what it is that I have to give you. Only that which you have given upon me because you create the identity that you want me to be. The identity I am myself, you do not hold valid, you do not recognize, you do not see as existing in nature. You see through me unless I wear upon myself that which you have created, that which you have decided that I am supposed to be. Whereas the kitten you bring and you embrace into yourself, and I see nothing. There. <laughs> 